Hello, hello, everyone. It is your buddy Keith, and I am here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. We're going to do an unboxing video for you guys today. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join our circle of friends, follow us on all the socials. It's at Essex Recording Studios, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, all that good stuff. And you're going to see some great product reviews, great guitar videos, great videos about music and music in general. Cool. So what do we have here? This is my pick for the best guitar stand on the market. Uh, it's November 2020. So I'd say, you know, for, for 2020, 2021, this is my pick for the best guitar stand, multiple five guitar guitar stand on the market. Now, why is that? Well, obviously I've got a lot of guitars. You can see we've got a stand over here. This is the quick lock one. Very good stand. We also have the Hercules guitar stand, another very good stand. But there's something very special and unique about this German made five guitar guitar stand. It is expensive, but it is quality. And we're going to show you the really special feature where it makes its money here in a second. So I'm going to unbox it for you. I got this off Amazon. I got two of them. There was a sale, it was the last two on Amazon. And straight away, you're going to see something different here. I don't know if you'll clock onto it yet. Some of you might. But uh, there's something very special about these. So the material, first of all, is flexible. I'm going to wait and tell you why this is significant, though, uh, in a second. I'm going to pull this out. It's very, very significant. And is what gives a huge advantage over all other guitar stands. I'm trying to do this one-handed without pulling out the, uh, without putting down the phone. There we go. So inside you've got a little bit of owner's manual, warranty manual. These come with a five-year warranty, by the way. All right. So I'll put the box over here. Pretty simple. The unboxing part is done. Now, it folds up. Very little footprint. I mean, this holds five right here. So look at the size of this compared to the quick lock. It's almost half the size, right? If we stand back here. Now the quick lock holds, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holds seven, but is almost double the size and it's significantly taller as well. Much larger footprint. It is on wheels, whereas this one's static. But that's important if space is limited. You know, if you've got a small flat or apartment um, and you need to tuck this away when you have your instruments away in their cases, this can be ideal. But that's not why this wins number one. All right. Let me see here for folding this down. Anything? Let's see, show you the side here. So nice badge there, kind of 3D. Get in focus. There we are. Um, anything else? There's a little zip tie over here. So we'll go ahead and clip that with the scissors. Where did I put the scissors? There they are. Got pink scissors in the control room. No one, no one ever steals the pink scissors. So give that a little clip All right. And of course, these are always hard to do one-handed. Just put this down for one second. Put a good zip tie on there, that's for sure. All right. Boom, clipped, out. Yes, it's got operation instructions, that's cool. All right, so now, locks right into place. Great. So, why do I like this? Why is this number one? I'll give the big thing away straight off the bat. Aside from this being flexible, and all of this is flexible. I don't know if you can see this, but this is all soft. All of this, you're not going to scratch or ding or dent anything. You know, you can't really hit the metal sides here because this is a guide. This is a guide. And if you're in the neck up here, you're not going to have it. So, Koenig and Meyer make two of these. 
They make some that are, uh, they make the exact same one that's black. So aesthetically, that might be what you're looking for. But why I'm picking this specific model as the best one is because there's no dye in these. All right. There's no dye at all of the contact points where the guitar hits. Now, that's different in all of the other cases. And why that's significant is over time, the longer these rest against black rubber, like on this, they have felt on the inside. Um, but any of the contact points where it's rubber, like there's felt along this one. I think this only came with felt for like two for some reason. It didn't come with felt for every single one. But this, the black dye in this rubber will eventually go into the lacquer, into the clear coat. It takes time and also depends on how old the instrument is. You might have a vintage Les Paul. I see it all the time. I buy guitars from all around the world every day. And I see permanent black marks that get into the nitro finish because they've been sitting on a stand or hanging on a wall hanger that has black rubber. Um, and that's dye. That's the only reason why that rubber is that color, guys. So, now with that being said, I'll show you this. So these are quite rigid. I mean, these flex, but much more rigid. Okay, goes in fine. We'll take the strat. We'll go and we'll just put it down over here. And you can see exactly, like I don't feel bad about whacking any of this stuff here. It's all very kind of soft and bendy. I mean, you can see how much it flexes there as I push it in. No big deal. And that's it, guys. So this is a very portable five guitar, multiple guitar stand that you can take with you on the road because it folds up. I mean, you can just chuck it in that box and throw it in your van. You can leave it as is because it's all rubber. You know, just throw it in the back, chuck it in the back of the van. It's not going to dent or bang into anything. And uh, it looks cool. I mean, that looks quite smart on stage. Kind of has like a zebra effect with the white and the black contrast. And it's not something you see every day. You know, and then it's got the smart logo on the side. It doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look like something that was like 15, 20 bucks from China on Amazon. Yeah, and like I said, we got two of them. We love them. I'll do more reviews and comparisons between this one, the Quick Lock, and the Hercules stand. They all have their benefits. Like, for instance, that one's on wheels. Um, the Hercules is expandable. This one is the tiniest, much more portable. And again, if you're especially if you're dealing with vintage instruments with very old nitro finishes, you've got to use this one, guys. Got to protect your investment. So, hope that was informative. Hope it was helpful. Uh, give you a little shot of the packaging on the back here again. English, guitar stand for five guitars, suitable for bass and electric guitars, foldable construction for easy transport, separate storing area for every guitar. All right, safety clamps. Prevent the instruments from twisting or bumping into each other. Integrated pick holder. Ooh, I have to look. Where's that pick holder? Oh, I see it now. Ha! Cool. Oh, you can get a caster set for this if you want. Didn't know that. Good thing I read the box. Okay, so if you look on the back here, you got pick holders. Where's the pick? We gotta have some picks around here. Come on now. Everybody nicks the picks. Well, you can see it anyway. Yeah. You can, you can fit tons of them back there. Two slots behind each one. That's great. Do these move at all? No. Cool. Brilliant, guys. And you can get casters. You can get wheels for the bottom if you need it. I think it's pretty unnecessary. Frankly, I don't like... I don't like the idea of bumping into something and having the stand move and have things tip over. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty good the way it is. All right, dudes. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, let me know. Many more product reviews coming your way. And uh, I hope 
I hope everything's going all right wherever you are in the world. Right now, we're still waiting to see uh, what's going to happen with coronavirus. Today, we just went into lockdown. Thankfully, uh, the recording studios are exempt. This is lockdown 2.0, November 5th. It's uh, kind of our version of 4th of July, Independence Day over here. It's, it's what's called uh, Bonfire Day, Guy Fawkes Day. Lots of fireworks will be going off tonight because they celebrate... Um, you know, Guy Fox being caught under Parliament trying to blow it up. And uh, I guess that's cause for celebration. The, the not blowing up of Parliament. Where we celebrate by blowing up loads of fireworks here in the UK. So that's going on. America. Man, we're still counting those votes. I don't know what's going to happen. Definitely a nail biter. Definitely down to the, the wire. It's going to be close, I think. Whoever wins is going to get it like right at 270 for the Electoral College. Yeah, a lot going on in the world, guys. And we've got a really cool record coming out in just a few days from a new band called King of the Dead. So stay tuned for that. I will catch you lovely people later. I'm going to do some guitar videos now. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And uh, thanks again, guys. Follow us on the socials at Essex Recording Studios. Later, dudes!